of autonomous region of Bougainville, Papua New Guinea, had a displacement, displacement tracking matrix training under IOM's Early Warning Systems Action Preparedness for Disaster Risk Reduction Program, which is funded by USAID. Bougainville, like many islands in the Pacific, is vulnerable and prone to natural disasters that range from volcanic eruptions, from earthquakes, from uh, severe weather conditions, flooding, landslides. It is also host to several atoll islands that are under threat from climate change and are impacted by climate-induced migration. The group here has been working over the last two days, uh, learning the skills required for tracking displacement situations, gathering the necessary data that's needed uh, to make an effective response to emergency. We're in the second day of training now. We've just gone through a, a simulation exercise where participants have gathered the necessary data based on a real-life scenario um, and now consolidating information to be able to feed back into the displacement tracking matrix. Uh, in total, we've had 26 participants here, um, and they're eager to take this information um, and use it when and where necessary to a, a real-life uh, scenario. Hello, my name is Richard Higgins. I am the Humanitarian Coordination Specialist for the United Nations in Papua New Guinea, and I am responsible for managing the disaster management team. I provide the Secretariat services uh, for the disaster management team, which is the uh, coordinating body for international humanitarian assistance here in Papua New Guinea. Uh, we rely very much on the displacement tracking matrix tools that are, are provided by IOM to help us coordinate uh, international assistance following disasters here. Uh, Papua New Guinea is prone to many uh, small impact or low impact disasters, uh, volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, uh, flooding, uh, etc. And uh, although uh, it is, these are, are not often high impact uh, disasters, it is very difficult for us to monitor uh, the impacts as well as the progress of humanitarian response to these events. And so we look to IOM and uh, the shelter cluster to utilize the DTM tools to help us uh, have a, a better picture of not only where people are located, but uh, who are the most vulnerable, uh, what types of assistance do they want, and what types of assistance do they need. Uh, it's an overall package for us that, that helps us uh, be better coordinated in, and uh, more uh, effective in our response activities. Thank you.